Welcome to Education Unlimited. As we continue our search into algebra, today we'll be looking at algebraic fractions and we'll be specifically looking at three CXC past paper questions on algebra. First of all, we'll do a comparative analysis and then we'll dive right into the questions. I hope that you will enjoy this class. As we look at this comparative analysis of the algebraic fractions questions in CXC, we look at the May-June 2004, May-June 2004, and that question asks, for the students to express as a single fraction the algebraic fractions. And then in May, June 2017, uh, we're looking at the paper twos. Uh, the question asks the students to write as a single fraction and simplify. So this one in 217, taking it a step further, not only to express or to write as a single fraction, but also to simplify. And then May, June 2019, the last time from my check that I saw algebraic fractions on the examination in the paper two, the question asks for us to solve the equation. And so uh, in algebraic fractions, most of the time the examiner will ask to exp express as a single fraction or to simplify. And then the examiner will equate that expression and ask us to solve the equation, normally solving for x or some other variable. Okay, so May, June 2004, the question asks, express as a single fraction, 3p over 2 plus p over q. The first thing that we will do is to find the LCM, the lowest common multiple. So we find the LCM by looking at the two denominators, one being two and the other one being Q. So the LCM would have been to multiply two by Q and that would have given, given us two Q. Let us highlight the LCM right here. It's two Q, good. And so the next step is to do a division. So we will now divide 2 into 2q two to get an answer of q. And then we'll divide q into 2q to get an answer of 2. Okay. And then we'll multiply q by 3p. Let us highlight this one. Multiply. Let us use a blue this time. q by 3p to get over this side, 3pq. And then we will multiply 2 by p to get over this side, 2p. And then let us bring up the cursor. So the answer, this is now a single fraction, is 3pq plus 2p all over 2q. So let us note here that this was one fraction and this was the other fraction. But, simple, very simple, this now is one fraction. So the examiner said to express as a single fraction. If I was asked, I would say this is a very easy question. So, May, June 2017, the question asks, write as a single fraction and simplify. Let us bring up the cursor quickly. So the fractions are 5p plus 2 all over 3, minus 3p minus 1 all over 4. So right here we have two fractions. 
So our job is to write as a single fraction and then take it a step further and simplify. So the first thing that we will do in this question is to find the LCM. We should find the LCM in this question. Let us bring it up here. So the question was 5p plus 2 over 3 minus 3p minus 1 all over 4. So the LCM here would have been very simple. The lowest common multiple is 3 multiply by 4 to give us an answer of 12. So the LCM here in this question is 12. We need to find the LCM before we can move on. Okay, very good. So, after finding the LCM, the second step is to calculate as with any other fractions, and then we would expand. So, 5p, looking at the cursor here, 5p plus 2 all over 3 minus 3p minus 1 all over 4, the LCM being 12. So we divide 3 into 12 to give us an answer of 4, and then 4 into 12 to give us an answer of 3. Then we multiply 4 by 5p plus 2 in one bracket, and then we multiply minus 3 by 3p minus 1 over the other side. Why did we make it minus 3 because the minus sign was there and then 4 into 12 gives us 3 so it must be minus 3 open bracket 3p minus 1. So our next step here is to expand here and expanding this would be 4 5 20p plus 4 2 is 8 then on this side minus 9p and then negative 3 times negative 1 gives us a positive 3 all over 12 and we will see that in the other slide so the answer from the previous slide reads 20p let us use the cursor 20p plus 8 minus 9p plus 3 all over 12. so the next step here is to group the like terms so the like terms here being 20p being one term and minus 9p being another term and 8 plus 8 being one term and plus 3 being another term uh, because they're constant 8 and 3 not because they have a plus sign beside them but because they're constant and then 20p is a like term with minus 9p. Next step is to add or subtract the like terms. The question right on top, 5p plus 2 all over 3 minus 3p minus 1 all over 4, gives us an answer of, grouping the like terms, 20p minus 9p plus 8 plus 3 all over 12. Very simple as we take our steps and go along. Breaking it down further gives us 11p plus 11, that's 20p minus 9p gives us 11p, and then 8 plus 3 uh, gives us 11 all over 12. And so the examiner asks us to simplify, so we now pull out 11 here being a common term and 11 here being a common term, and then we divide 11 into 11p to get open bracket p. 11 into 11 gives us 1. So the answer would be 11 open bracket p plus 1 close bracket all over 12. This is the simplified solution. In solving this equation, 
3 over 7x minus 1 plus 1 over x is equal to 0, we first of all, by pulling the cursor, look at the LCM. So the LCM is 7x minus 1 in brackets multiplied by x. And so we divide 7x minus 1 into 7x minus 1 multiplied by x to get an answer of x. So we multiply 3 by x to have 3x on this side. And then we divide x into 7x minus 1 and x. So this x cancel this x. So we will remain with 7x minus 1 multiplied by 1, the numerator here, giving us a result on this side of 3x plus 7x minus 1 all over 7x minus 1 multiplied by x. So we want to cross multiply. We could have equate this to 0. So we divide 0 by 1. So we cross multiply here which will give us the result in the other slide. So this is the result of the cross multiplication, 3x plus 7x minus 1. Then we will bring over this minus 1 over the equal sign for it to be plus 1. And we'll add 3x plus 7x to get an answer of 10x. So the answer here is 10x is equal to 1. But usual, if we want to find x, we divide both sides by 10. So dividing this side of the 10x by 10 gives us x. And dividing this side of the 1 gives us 1 over 10. So the answer is 1 tenth. 1 over 10, 1 tenth. Very simple. Let us now look at the other way that we could have solved this equation. So the other way to solve this equation, the alternative working, is to move, let us use the marker this time, is to move this part of the equation and put it on this side, which we did. So one side would read 3 over 7x minus 1, and the other side would read minus 1 over x, because anything that goes over the equal sign changes sign. Good. So on this side now, we will use our markers again. We will cross multiply here, and we'll cross multiply there. And that's cross multiplication giving us 3x on this side. 3 multiplied by x gives us 3x on this side. And then this side gives us negative 1, which is here, multiplied, which is open bracket, multiplied by 7x minus 1. Let's get these house cleaning before we move on to the other slide. The solution being 3x is equal to minus 7x plus 1. So we will move the minus 7x on this side. So once it moves over the equal sign, the sign changes from minus to a positive 7x. So we have on this side, 3x plus 7x is equal to 1. 3x plus 7x is equal to 10x. So 10x is equal to 1. And as usual, if we want to find x, we divide both sides by 10. So 10x divided by 10 gives us x. And 1 divided by 10 gives us 1 tenth or 1 over 10. So the answer is x is equal to 1 over 10. Very simple. And as usual, I ask that you like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Edu Unlimited, Education Unlimited, as we continue our surge into this wonderful, into this lovely subject called math, as we look at the CXC past paper questions on algebraic fractions. Thank you very much.